How is it possible? A circulated and tarnished 1977D Kennedy of dollar sold for over $5,000. This isn't a joke, but a real auction resort recently realized at Heritage Auctions. While it may seem like an ordinary pocket change, this coin is highly coveted and rare mint error, valued even in its circulated and lusterless condition. This particular coin is a wrong planchet error. A half dollar struck on a 40% silver blank. It's highly elusive transitional error. These silver alloy planchets were never meant for regular circulation. They were intended for only bicentennial collector sets struck at the San Francisco Mint. However, somehow a few of these planchets ended up at the Denver Mint and were used for the 1977D Kennedy Alps that were distributed. The age of this choice about uncirculated example shows no evidence of a copper core confirming its unique status. Wisps of grey toning add to the charm of this popular mint error, which ultimately sold for $5,040. Will you pay a thousands of dollars for an old quarter dollar with such toning? Well, one collector did just set on May 9th spending over $5,000 to acquire this numismatic gem. This is a 1951S quarter dollar graded at Mint State 68 by PCGS. Gems of this issue are quite plentiful even up through MS67, however, many of these coins have a soft and diffused look due to heavy dye erosion. Budget cuts imposed since the end of the World War II led to the overuse of both dyes and equipment making a well-struck 1951S quarter dollar. From fresh dyes, a true rarity, not fully reflective, not fully reflected in the census. This San Francisco issue is similar to most other Washington quarters of the 1950s, being common in almost any great desired. Yet, like many other dates, it is conditionally rare in the top grade of MS 68. This is a grade most desired by series registry collectors and the one most frequently seen. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, make sure to do so, to stay tuned for the latest numismatic developments. This 1964 Jefferson Nichols sold for a staggering $19,800 at Heritage Auctions. This isn't a proof, special strike or specimen coin, it's an ordinary pocket change intended for general circulation. However, one tiny detail often overlooked by many, makes this coin highly sought after by collectors. This is a 1964D nickel, known for its repunch D over D mint mark. The repunching is clear with the loop, but may escape detection by unaided eye. A repunch mint mark error occurs when the mint mark on a coin is stamped more than once in slightly different positions. This typically happens during the die preparation process when the mint worker manually punch the mint mark into the die. If the punch isn't aligned correctly on the first strike, or if there is a need to reposition it, the worker may punch the mint mark again, resulting in an overlapping or double appearance. Each side of this nickel is brilliant and satiny, with slight reflectivity discernible in the fields. A few tiny marks are present, but not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well struck and pleasing. Uncirculated 1962 Franklin half dollars with full bell lines are highly coveted by collectors and fetch eye catching amounts at auctions. This attractive half dollar, for example, sold for $4,080 at heritage auctions, graded in mid state 66 FBL by PCGS. So what is the FBL designation, and why is it so important in U.S. numismatics? The FBL designation refers to the line at the bottom of the Liberty Bell on the reverse of the coin. For a coin to receive the FBL designation, the lines must be complete and uninterrupted across the entire bell, indicating a very sharp strike and minimal wear. MS66 stands for mid state 66, indicating that the coin is in near perfect condition with only minor imperfections. It is graded on the shell scale, where MS70 is the highest grade. These late series Philadelphia issues scarce in any grade above MS65 with full bell lines coins in the current premium gem, great being rare.
This coin display is softly frosted luster and is beautifully preserved with warm olive gold toning. The San Francisco Mint struck coins only during the first three months of 1955 before suspending operations for an entire decade. It was found to be more cost effective to mint additional coins in Denver and ships in West rather than to continue using a small and inadequate San Francisco facility. Although Dye erosion is a factor with 1955 as cents, they were generally of better quality than those from Philadelphia and Denver. This fact, combined with massive hoarding of this final S mint set, has left the hobby with a large pool of high graded survivors. One enchanting specimen graded in mint state 67 plus red sold for $2,640 at RT auctions.